Serena, our guests will be here in less than an hour. How's dinner coming? Wow-wee, what a worry, Ward. I'm going to zap up the exact dinner I once cooked for Henry VIII. Uh, never mind, Serena, just something uh, simple. How about peanut butter? Straight, no jelly. Is that simple enough? <laughs> How about uh, salad, uh, roast beef, string beans, and baked potato? Believe me, it was more fun cooking for Henry VIII than it is for Ding Dong the First. <laughs> Serena, I'm going upstairs now and get ready. And I'd appreciate it if you'd get with the dinner. Haven't you forgotten something? What? Don't you give your sweet little wife a kissy poo when you come home from work? <laughs> but forget it, Serena. Look, dum dum. I am not a live in maid. I am a wife, and I want a kiss. <laughs> I've had more passionate kisses from my mother. Uh, look, Serena, uh, when the client and his wife get here, uh, promise you'll behave. I promise I'll behave. Which is honor. And you'll be nice to the client and his wife. And I'll be nice to the client. I don't know about his wife. Just be nice. Dum dum. I promised you I'd be nice. And nice is what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there uh, 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 Mrs. Berkeley? How do you do, Mrs. Berkeley? How do you do, Mr. Mr. Berkeley? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Berkeley, this is my wife, Samantha. Uh, how do you. <laughs> oh, uh, how do you do, Mrs. Uh, Berkeley? Berkeley. How do you. Why? <laughs> Darren certainly didn't exaggerate, did he? I didn't. Am I supposed to ask what this is all about? Oh, I couldn't tell you. It would just embarrass you. If you're going to pay him a compliment, don't hesitate. He can use it. My biggest fan. <laughs> well, speaking of compliments, anyone care for a complimentary drink? Anything. Double. <laughs> Darren? Well, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Well, thank you. You too. <laughs> Well, come right in and sit down and make yourself comfy. There you go. Now, you're not going to keep us in suspense. What did your husband tell you about Roland? You really want me to What's tell you? What's the matter with Sam? Only if you Nothing. want to. Why? I want to. Since when does Samantha greet the client with a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, you're a very affectionate person, aren't you? <laughs> Well, what's wrong with that, Mark? You're right, Mrs. Berkeley. I am a very affectionate person. I just love people. Don't you think people should love people? Listen to her, Martha. It wouldn't hurt. I've become terribly interested in the uh, new trend of developing the senses, particularly touch. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, now, tell me, Roland. Yes. Uh, do you feel something? <laughs> Yours is a martini, Mrs. Berkeley, right? Oh, yes. Mr. Berkeley? Yeah, yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> now, Martha, let's try. Feel the warmth? No, it's cold and wet. <laughs> I have always felt that, that people should be nice. Don't you think so, Roland? Yes, 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 I do. Something else for you to remember, Martha. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to forget anything about tonight. This new kick that Sam's on, I think she's overdoing it. She's not herself tonight. Well, why don't we come back when she's recovered? <laughs> oh, nonsense, Martha. The world is an uptight place. People don't express enough warmth. I think we should let ourselves go. <laughs> well, I'm for that. Let's go. Oh, heavens, M Mrs. Berkeley. Don't tell me you misunderstood what I meant by affection. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Berkeley. I, me I mean, I hope you didn't misunderstand what Samantha meant by affection. What did you mean? <laughs> no offense, but the more I see you, the more I like you, less. <laughs> On the other hand, you do have a warm spot for me, right? That's true. 
And I wish you'd go there right now. I'm <laughs> delighted. My mother, don't you dare leave until you've taken that spell off Darren. Samantha, are you ordering me? No. I I'm just suggesting. Very strongly. <laughs> Very well. I guess I've had my fun. Spell's off. There you are. No harm done. No harm done? How would you like a necklace of fingers? Oh, <laughs> sweetheart. Don't stop him, Samantha. When he's angry and his eyes flash like that, it transforms him from a dull clod into an angry dull clod. <laughs> Same to you, fella. <laughs> Mother, what do you expect him to do? Lie down like a lamb? Especially when you're so wrong about him. He is not indecisive. He has no trouble making up his mind, and when he does, he rarely changes it. You mean he's pig-headed? I didn't say that. Well, I did. That's a definite improvement. <laughs> You're right, sweetheart. That is absolutely the lowest thing Mother has ever done. No, it isn't. This is. <laughs> Where is he? Outside. Where the entire world can see how pig-headed he is. Outside! I didn't do anything outrageous like put him on the front lawn. What kind of a fool do you take me for? I put him on the roof. <laughs> oh, my stars. <laughs> Don't you call my mother names like that. It might make matters worse. <laughs> That's true. How could they be? I'll get you down in a moment, sweetheart. <laughs> Colonel Brigham. Uh, how do you do? I I'm Samantha Stevens. You are? I mean, how do you do? I, I suppose you're wondering what that is all about. Wondering isn't quite the word. <laughs> well, it's Darren's idea for a revolving sign to go over all your restaurants, Colonel. <laughs> Actually, that, that is just part of the whole campaign that Darren has devised for you, Colonel. Uh, the pig's head will be seen on all of your TV commercials, uh, your menus, etc. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> uh, that's enough, sweetheart. I think they've got the idea. You can come down now. <laughs> Shall we go inside? By the way, how'd you get up there? Uh, by that ladder. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't notice the ladder until now. <laughs> Darren, come on down. We're anxious to hear the details. How's that for Enterprise, huh? McMahon and Tate is first in Enterprise. Yeah, well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> What's your new idea, Stevens? Well, it's very difficult to talk in that mask, isn't it, sweetheart? So, instead of talking, why don't we just go inside and demonstrate to Larry and the Colonel? Good idea. <laughs> we'll have a drink, too. 